What's going on TRC? Welcome back. You're here with me, Subi Shaves, and today we're going to be rocking out with a how-to video that's going to be super simple. All we're talking about today is blade tabs. As you can see on the left here, all the e-razors come with these side tabs right here, right? And what you can do to modify them so that they don't overhang on your razor if you don't want them to, right? Very simple. It's a very quick how-to video on how to trim them off, what razors, uh, you know, protect them, what it looks like if they are not protected or covered, right? And if you want them covered, you know, kind of your options as far as trimming them. I am thrilled to be doing this video. It's going to be fast. It's going to be really quick. Thank you so much for being here for it. Let's get to it on the CV hack angle. Come with me. Doing a quick video on blade tabs, double edged blade tabs. For me, when I first started shaving, these blade tabs kind of bugged me. When I was first learning to navigate around shaving my face and my, um, especially my head, these corners stick out of some razors and they allow you to kind of adjust the razor blade and make sure it's all level and straight. The problem is, is when you catch your um, ear or a nose, upper lip on these corners, they can be a little bit sharp. They feel like a little abrasive and you hit it at the right angle and it's going to cause a little bit of irritation and scratch marks and I just don't like them personally so I'm going to talk today a little bit about what razors um, how they look with the blade tabs and what you can do if you're using a razor that uh, exposes the blade tabs what you can do to fix that issue and how to clip blade tabs with scissors today I wanted to show you guys just really quickly here's a vintage Gillette safety razor that's a TTO aka you twist this bottom piece and the cap opens up with the doors and you just slide your blade in like this if you wanted to use it and shave with it but as you can see you see these blade tabs they stick out and again that's really so that you can go in there and adjust the razor like this side um, left to right to ensure that you have a perfect exposure it's really why it's there um, honestly so uh, they do serve a functional purpose but at the same time if you can um, straighten them out uh, you know without having to have the blade tabs exposed I prefer that I use a blade box I just rest my blade box up against the blade um, to straighten it out so I don't ever use the blade tabs here's a fat boy you can see the fat boy I, I really don't have any problems with most razors having the blade just adjust by itself really honestly so these tabs really don't really serve a purpose for me usually but you can see they do stick out. Again, I want to mention this as a user-based preference thing. I think it's important to mention as well that no, there are razors that are produced that do cover the tabs. So this is the Henson razor, and I wanted to showcase kind of what that looks like. If you were to take a razor with a, just a full blade with the tabs right there, if you stick that on um, one of these razors that covers the tabs, to kind of give you an idea of what the difference looks like, you can see here. The tabs are covered. There was no cutting required, but you can um, also kind of relate that that's going to increase the size of the head cap. So if you were to close one of these razors up and you were to showcase them side by side, what you're going to see is the head cap is slightly larger on the modern Henson versus the Gillette Fapway because it is covering the tabs. Again, I think that's an important thing to mention and showcase. Um, here's a Rockwell 6S. This is a very, very popular modern razor. So it's not just vintage razors that don't expose the tabs. You uh, are to cover the tabs. You will see modern razors that also don't cover the tabs um, pretty commonly. And again, that is a user preference thing. You can see here, we'll put the cap on and what you're going to see is the tabs are not, exp they are exposed. See up right here? These are the tabs. These are what I'm talking about. And you can catch your lip. You can catch an ear. These just kind of stick out kind of awkwardly. And sometimes you're not like really prepared or um, ready to, you know, navigate around them. I know so that's something I struggled with when I was first learning to shave with a double-edged safety razor. So today, as you can see, we got these, um, we got these darned, we got these darn tabs here. And I want to show you guys how to fix that. I want to um, really quickly discuss trimming them. So what you can do, again, if you prefer, if you want to try this out, you can just take your blade out of the paper, just like this and grab yourself some scissors some get, go to your wife's cutting block get your her nicest pair of scissors don't do that really honestly just any pair of scissors will work and this is going to feel like cutting cardboard you just take your scissors rest it right on that blade tab you see how i'm doing this let's get up really close so you guys can see and we're just going to clip it just like that it was not hard not difficult you saw how easy it was it was very very simple it took zero effort and we've got our blade tab clipped off again you can see, very simple. Just make sure you collect them, pick them up, because they are sharp. Right? Those little blade tabs that you've cut off are now floating around in the wild. Make sure to put them in your disposable, recyclable box. There you go, right there. Super easy. I'm going to show you how that looks inside of a Gillette razor here. Take a look. So there we are. We're tightened down. We are straightened up. 
but you can see we don't have any blade tabs exposed, nothing to catch our ear or our lip or our you know, chin on. Really excited. This is easy. This is fast. And I appreciate you watching it. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Catch you in the next TRC Subi Shays video.